To begin the pathway analysis, click on the pathway analysis button on the left hand side of the front page. The pathway analysis window will open. It has a number of frames, a frame for data entry, and a brief description of pathway analysis. There's an example button on the right. The example button can be used to load example data into the pasted window, or we can choose to load our own data by using the browse button on the bottom of the data entry window. In this case, I've taken the example data and created a local file. If I select that local file, in this case example genes, I can then return to the window and upload that file and start the analysis by clicking analyze. An indicator shows me that the analysis is actually occurring and then returns the data. The data is sorted into columns. Each column is itself sortable, indicated by the sorting arrows at the top of the column. The columns here are ID, Uniprot ID, Species, and Pathway Name. I can also export the result in any of the formats that are listed. After selecting a format, I would then click the download button. Clicking on a specific identifier in a column takes us to that piece of evidence, in this case a Uniprot page. Clicking on a pathway name will take us to the Reactome Entity Level Viewer. The Entity Level Viewer has a number of panes. A hierarchy on the left, which will immediately select the pathway that you clicked on, and take us to that diagram, the window on the right. At the bottom, there's a small navigation pane that allows us to see where in the diagram we're actually looking. You can interact with the hierarchy, opening and closing the hierarchy to show sub-pathways, and you can interact with the entity level viewer. Returning to the pathway analysis page, I'm going to load the example data. And rather than ID mapping and pathway assignment, I'm going to look at over-representation analysis, which I'll begin by clicking the Analyze button. The analysis returns a list of pathways in which your IDs are strongly enriched. Pathways containing more IDs are labeled red or hotter. Pathways containing fewer are labeled blue. The lists are returned as an expandable hierarchy on the left. A small plus button to the left of the pathway name will open a sub-hierarchy showing sub-pathways or in this case a list of matching identifiers. Scrolling further down that page you can find other representations of the list. In this case a columnar list listing the number of identifiers contained within the pathway out of the total number of entities within that pathway and the specific identifiers themselves. Also available farther down on the page is a starry sky representation of overrepresented pathways. These images can be downloaded as separate files. Finally, at the bottom of the page is a representation of each individual identifier and the pathway that it is in. A more comprehensive description of the pathway analysis tools can be found in the user's guide accessible under the React Dome documentation tab on the front page.